Hey guys, so today I am doing a review of something that I have been waiting, waiting to do just because I've had to grow my leg hair out for it and I've had long hairy legs for like the last month and a half. I'm actually partnering up with NADS, which I go a long way back with NADS. Like NADS was with me before John was with me. NADS was with me before Ava was with me. NADS has been in my life for a very long time. So NADS is a hair removal, uh, company and they make all sorts of products for hair removal. How many times can I say hair removal? I started using them way back when, when they used to have those late night infomercials at like two o'clock in the morning because we didn't have cable and I couldn't sleep. And they used to have that like green, not like you didn't have to like microwave it. It was like this green melty stuff that you'd like heat up in your sink in hot water. You put it on and then you'd like, it's they were wax strips, right? And you could reuse the wax. Anyways, I've been using them since way back then, like early 2000s and I just have always really liked their products. I use their facial hair removal stuff to get rid of my mustache. Yes, I have a mustache and I just, I love their products. I partnered up with them today to just review their new product, which is the NAD Sensitive Hair Removal Cream. It's gentle and soothing on delicate skin, it removes hair in less than four minutes from legs and body, and it's got all natural extracts, melon, aloe vera, avocado oil, and honey. It also has an odor elimination technology, so that means instead of that really strong hair removal cream, you know what I mean if you've smelled it, uh, you know, kind of chemically smell, instead it kind of has a nice, pleasant smell with a just a tiny hint of hair removal smell but it it doesn't leave like a scent behind on your skin which I really really like because their hair removal stuff back years ago used to do that so like when I would do this I could smell it a little bit after I'd use it but again it works so I didn't really care you know I didn't care. So I reviewed this product for you I showed you every like the before and after techniques so I'm gonna show you those clips real quick and yeah I'm really excited because now I get to go shave my other leg or actually go use this on my other leg and be hairless. So excuse the jammies, I just have my top on because I don't wanna like pull my pants off like over this stuff because I don't want it to get on it. So I'm half naked right now. I should probably show you my legs and show you how hairy they are. I've never had such hairy legs in my life. Like, wait, let me refrain. If there, it's not that I have like thick leg hair, it's just that it's very long. This is the longest I probably let it go. Uh, all because I wanted to do this review, like really do it. So because I used to wax with the NADS wax strips, my hair actually doesn't grow in anymore in some spots because waxing and like tweezing ended up just killing the roots of my hair because I did it so often. I told you guys, I've been using NADS for such a long time. Uh, so. I don't have like thick amounts of hair, but my hair definitely got long. So let me show you how long my leg hair got. So I don't know if you can see this exactly. My hair, my legs are so dry right now. I don't want to put any lotion on in case it will interfere with the stuff, but you can't even see how long it is. This camera's not doing it justice, but it's at least like a half an inch long where there's hair. Like I said, there are spots where I don't grow any hair just because I used to wax my legs, but where there is hair, as you can see, it's pretty darn long. I'm only gonna do one leg just to compare one to the other. So I am so excited to finally be doing this video, guys. For the last month and a half, I've been walking around in my workout pants and in shorts, which is like the longest hair on my legs. So my husband will be excited as well. This says, apply the cream generously on the area to be treated using your hand smooth cream on to completely cover hair with a thick, even layer. Do not rub it. Leave cream on the area to be treated for at least four minutes. Use a soft cloth, test a small area for removal. If hair does not come away easily, leave cream on for a few minutes more without exceeding 10 minutes in total. Wipe cream and hair away with a cloth, rinse treated area with water and drop. Here we go. What does it smell like? That's what I'm most interested in because I used to use the NADS facial hair remover which actually helped get rid of my <laughs> mustache uh, back in the day and that I will admit smelled a little bit too much like hair remover but I didn't care because it's just like well duh it's hair remover it's gonna smell like hair remover but this says that it's not supposed to necessarily smell like hair remover. Oh that smells pleasant. It smells like cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works with a hint, just a tiny hint of hair remover smell. But I mean those chemicals, how do you get, you can't like completely mask those if you don't feel like. So it doesn't smell bad. Like those people who complain like, oh it smelled like hair remover, I couldn't stand it. But it is hair remover, like it's hair remover. How can you like complain about something smelling like it, it is, like what it is. Like it's hair remover, okay? So I know, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this in my hand. Why isn't it coming out? It doesn't want to come out of its squeezy tube. Oh, whoops, I think I like left something. Eee, come off, oh I got it. Like that clear plastic part of the seal is still on it. Okay, now we're cooking with oil. Eee, or is it grease? I don't know. 
Okay, see, that comes out a lot better. Put the cream on, not rub. I'm excited to use this stuff mostly just because I cut myself a lot when I'm in a hurry while shaving. And usually it's like when I'm about to go to an event or something. And then when you cut yourself when you're in a hurry, it's just kind of like, well, crap. Now I have this like huge gash or something. So I'm excited to see if this stuff works. Like I said, it does have this smell of hair remover, like a faint smell. But again, let's, that's, it's hair remover. Like, I don't understand what people expect. Like, for it to smell like cotton candy, like, you want to smell cotton candy, go eat some cotton candy. I mean, that's just my opinion. Luckily, I don't really grow hair too much, like, up by my thighs. I don't know why I don't grow hair there. Do you guys grow hair there? But, like, the trouble spots around the knees, I'm excited to not have to shave around those. Because I cut myself all the time. It's like I want to rub it in so bad because that's what you would do with like a lotion consistency like this. So I'm doing everything in my power right now not to rub this stuff in my leg. I think that's as high as I need to go because I don't really grow hair there. I mean I grow hair up there, but I am not putting this up there, that's for sure. <laughs> Although if Nads came out with one of those creams, I would may try it. Because I hate shaving down there too. You know what I mean? This actually does smell kind of good. Like the, like, I don't know, it smells good. I mean, I wouldn't wear it as an everyday perfume, but I don't hate it. Does anybody else get ankle hair? Am I gross? Like I get ankle hair and I get toe hair. I think this works on toe hair. I'm so sexy. My husband's so lucky to have me. <laughs> All right. So I moved downstairs because it's a little bit more comfortable down here for me to be sitting for four minutes. But I'm actually going to set my timer for five minutes because I know when I'm removing my mustache hair, again, my husband's so lucky. Uh, when I'm removing that, my hair tends to like need a little bit longer to be removed. So I'm going to do, you know what, hell, I'm going to do six minutes. So I have my timer going. And as you can see, I have my leg nicely coated. And I'm going to maybe watch some YouTube videos or something on my phone until my timer goes off. So... Okay, so I totally left this on longer than the five and six minutes because I wiped away a little bit and nothing seemed to be happening. So we're at the 10 minute mark and I'm gonna go shower this off because that's like the whole thing, right? Is you can just go and take a shower and wipe it off with a damp cloth and you're supposed to be hairless. I'm gonna go take a shower and I'll check in with you and show you what my luscious legs look like. Not quite sure why I called them luscious. What does luscious even mean? Does it mean like big and plump? I guess that's not really a compliment to my legs, is it? <laughs> I'll show you my legs. Hopefully one of them will be completely hairless and the other one, of course, will still be super hairy. Just got done in the shower and I saved, okay, so this is the first swipe that I did on my leg with a damp washcloth and I only saved it without rinsing it out because I was like so shocked at how effective this stuff actually worked that I wanted to show you guys. But I don't know if you can see this. Oh, you can. Look at all of those hairs. You see those black long hairs all in the center? That is one swipe with the cream off my leg. Basically all I did was I got in the shower, I took a washcloth in me obviously, and then I had to grab another one because I wanted to save that one to show you guys. And then I just went down and I just like started wiping away all the cream. And I gotta tell you, it worked so well. Like all of my leg hair is gone. Like every single inch of my leg hair is completely gone. My legs are super smooth. I'll show you, compare both my hairy one and my non-hairy. So this is the non-hairy one that I did and it's so smooth. There's not a single inch of hair or strand on this leg. It's amazing. And then this is the one that still has the leg hair on it. Can you see that leg hair? You can see it kind of. It looks worse in person. I don't know why my camera's making it look so nice. Obviously I don't have super thick leg hair, but my hair was substantially long and it's all gone. Like it's all gone. My leg is so smooth. Oh my gosh. It's been so long since I've had smooth legs. Guys, my husband's going to be so excited. So I'm excited to do my other leg now because now my other leg looks super funny having all these like straight, long, like half inch hairs hanging from it. But yeah, it totally works. So as you saw, the product works amazingly well. The idea of this stuff is just amazing. It works so well. I would suggest this for anybody who does not like shaving and maybe cuts themselves often. I cut myself a lot more than I'd like to admit. I love the aspect of just being able to put it on, kind of like relax, maybe wipe down the sink or wash my face or do my skincare routine and then jump in the shower real quick and just wipe it and wash it away. I love the fact that it got every Every single hair on my leg. I am that person who always has a strip of hair that for some reason I miss 
repeatedly, so eventually I'll look down at my leg and there's like an inch long like hairs down like my shin because I always miss like one spot over and over and over again. So I love that this cream removes every single hair because it's like all over your leg, right? So my legs feel really smooth and soft. My leg, I haven't done the other one, but my leg feels really smooth, really soft. It didn't burn. It was like it was perfect. So as you saw, I did leave it on for the full 10 minutes just because my hair just takes a little bit more coaxing than other people's. I don't necessarily have super sensitive skin, so I will put that out there. If you are trying this for the first time, of course, use maybe a little bit in a certain spot of your you know, leg just to make sure that you don't have like an adverse reaction from it. That's good to do with anything, hair dye, you know, anything, moisturizers, like anything that you put onto your skin, it's good to test out first. So. I really, 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 really like this stuff. I'm excited to use this over and over again. Like, I'm just really excited about it. I'm excited that it works. Like, I was a little bit, a teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny piece of me was a little bit worried that it wouldn't work just because my leg hair is so coarse. And I was like, how is it gonna remove like all of my leg hair? It did it. So I'm really excited about this product. I will leave links for how you can find this or shop for it underneath this video. It's super affordable. If you have, like me, I have a preteen who is shaving and all of that, but they're like afraid to use a razor or maybe they're not good at using a razor. This might be a good alternative for them. For me, I cut myself, like I said, so this is a good alternative for me. They also make a men's line, which I'm really tempted to try he's giving me a snarly look so maybe that won't happen maybe i can put it on me well they have like nose remover ones and then they have body hair cream like for men you don't want to remove hair with me and be all sleek and smooth and supple where would you want to put it like to like remove your chest yeah, hair like wax hair no the chest well the nose stuff i think you wax they're like pull out but this stuff like you literally just put it on like a cream and then you take a shower and wipe it off it's amazing you want to try that? Does it hurt? No. Yeah, I could be hairless, little hairless rat if you want me to be. <laughs> but anyways, they have a men's line that I'm kind of interested in trying. They have like a nose remover thing that I'm interested in trying for myself because I have to trim back my nose hair because that's something else that grows out. I'm kind of disgusting, guys. <laughs> but anyways, this stuff though works amazing. I highly suggest trying it. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, I've tried different products and they broke my legs out. But I, this did, this worked really well with my legs and I've had no adverse effects. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful. And I can't wait to use it on my other legs so that way I can be finally hairless because it's getting warm out and I can't hide my legs anymore. Not that I really cared. Like I kind of, it was a little bit freeing having long hair, but that's just, that's just not my thing. Thank you, Nance, for partnering up with this fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like first impression review type videos like this, where I like get down to the nitty gritty and show you guys step by step before and after, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions or you have any suggestions and new products I should try. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. Hit that notification bell next to it if you want to be notified of any new uploads. And yeah, thank you for watching as always, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye. That doesn't look so bad. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Here. Feel my left leg compared to my right leg. One is hairy and one is not. Isn't that smooth though? Yeah. Isn't that smooth? It's very smooth. Do you like it better, hairy or non-hairy? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs>